We ask the day then, Kia Kua Kaba Kua, Kia Kua Kikeki, Kia Kua Hane Hemolele. Amen. Welcome to Maui. My name is Ed Lindsay. I'm here to uh, express some of the concerns and the realities of the Hawaiian value called Aloha and Malama. Now, Malama fits into this whole prospect of uh, Hawaiian values in that it offers several things. Number one, to take off or to watch over. This lad, which we're so fortunate to have under our custody and our stewardship, provides a haven for people to come in and heal, to express themselves, and to take over those things that are meaningful for the next generation. And that includes our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren, five generations ahead of us. Another thing Malama is about is to preserve. As you may see around this yard, and we're oceanfront property, uh, you have canoes, we have a lawn, we have a dog, we have coconut trees, and a lot of canoes over here to show that we too, Malama the ocean, and the people over here, and our family. The second uh, highlight of Malama is to preserve. Once you put the seaweed in the ocean, you have to know how to preserve and how to take care of it. Same thing as business. Once you, once you set a business plan, you have to know how to preserve it. Third thing is to plant the seed that you can grow. You know, before you can plant anything, you need to know the, uh, how the seed grow, how the product grow. And if you don't have a clear view of how you can grow things, uh, you're going to get into trouble. The fourth thing is, Malama also means to light. The light. Malama also means light. Without light, it cannot grow. Okay. So within us and within Aloha comes light. And at this time, the light, which is within all of us, must shine. 